Hi everyone, myself Jyoti Prasad from RMD Engineering College. Today we are going to see about engineering as a uh, social ex responsible social experimenter in this video. So engineer as a responsible social experimenter, how we are going to um, do the experimentation for a new product or a new, new medicine, uh, any aspect, how the engineer is as a responsible experimenter. So with a respons great responsibility, how he is going to act. So here we are having, see, the, the engineer's responsibility is shared with organization, people, government and others. So he's a, like, like we know earlier, uh, human beings, okay, engineer is a social element, okay. So, so no doubt that engineers share a greater responsibility while monitoring the projects. So in the phase by phase, the project is going to take up. So in every aspect, the engineer has to be monitor, identify risk, what type of risk, side effects, drawbacks are there and the informing the clients and the public with facts. So we should not uh, hide any any uh, uh, information regarding that particular project or informing, we should not hide any um, side, side, side effects regarding testing a medicine by, uh, by the particular companies, biomedical companies. So, based on they, they take decisions to practice and promote so we, we will see the some aspects few aspects here engineer as a social responsible experimenter so few such responsibilities the first one is a conscientious commitment to live by morals so the second one is comprehensive perspective the third one is a free personal involvement in all steps the fourth one is accountability the first one we are going to see conscientiousness so conscientiousness is nothing but so if an engineer so he is an engineer uh, people like B students uh, you are the engineers after getting passed out of the four years of your degree so then you are going to take a engineering practice so you you should be sensitive to full range of moral values and responsibilities and will you should also develop to you should also develop uh, your skills and you should also willing to develop your skills frequently so uh, a civil engineer four years of his graduation is finished uh, he should not do the practices what he learned in the four years degree so technology will update uh, frequently okay in nowadays we should update our skills that you should be willing for updating the skills so and you should have a best balance between the considerations okay so in another manner we can say this engineers must possess open eyes open ears and open minds okay so they should be ready to take up the uh, uh, advancements so this makes engineers as a social experimenters see like i said here the respect for more safety and health of the affected while they seek to enrich their knowledge rush for the profit follow the rules only on only the beneficiary if you see the second one, the comprehensive perspective. Comprehensive perspective means uh, relative information. If we if we don't have any relative information, we can we cannot move with a conscientious moral commitment. The first one cannot be attained without the second one. So see, the engineer should grab the context of his work, ensure that work involved results in only moral ends. So we should take up the moral ends also on the aspect of moral values only. We should test that particular product. Moral anatomy. Actually, moral anatomy means viewing engineering as social experimentation. So, uh, so moral anatomy sometimes, for example, say uh, moral anatomy, we should uh, take the decision on our own. So, we are, for example, an engineering is working on a firm, in a firm. So, the, he should take the decision moral autonomy on his own. So if the management is influencing his particular, he is a protest, for example, a civil engineer or a construction is going on. So the engineer know that he want to build only particular three floors in particular soil test or in approvals. So with, uh, with the management, uh, they are uh, management approach, they are constructing four floors. So that, that engineer know that the, there we should construct only three floors. So the engineer should take a decision autonomously and he has to convince the management that we should not construct four floors here, three floors only. Likewise, this, for example, we have given quoted that example. Engineer should be a accountable. So for example, accountable is nothing but responsible, liable. Okay. 
so engineer should be liable responsible so in which aspects is willingness to submit one's action moral scrutiny and to be responsible for assessment of others so the team lead should evaluate the one person and the working under him and he should evaluate scrutiny this is work he should not uh, uh, ignore work and he should not promote others work as his work okay so often often projects see see the th third one see c point often projects are executed one after another an employee is more interested to go for another project should not leave the project here so you, once we have taken up the project we should completely finish that and we should move to the next project that is nothing but accountability so i am getting more profit in the next project that's why i will move to the next project we should not think like that okay so this is regarding accountability thank you these are all the these are all the uh, aspects with respect to engineer as a responsible experimenter thank you